Hi again. Um, today I'm going to be making um, chicken with criminy mushrooms and a savory gravy in my Instapot, in my Power Quick Pot. Um, I'm using an 8 quart Power Quick Pot. I've got my mushrooms washed and sliced. I've got my chicken breast washed and patted dry. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is turn this on to saute and I'm going to turn it down to vegetables and start it. I've already added a little bit of 100% um, extra virgin olive oil and as soon as this turns red it is ready so it is ready. So I'm going to drop the mushrooms down into the pot. Okay, that's about 10 ounces of mushrooms. I'm just going to give these a little stir. We only want to cook these long enough just so that the mushrooms start releasing their juices. So about two minutes. I'm using the saute function for vegetables. This is a, <clears throat> a pretty easy dish, really. Um, you saute the mushrooms and then you put the chicken in the pot or you put the liquids into the pot and then you put the chicken in and you set it the time and you walk away and let it cook. I've already assembled everything I'm going to need. Um, a half a cup of heavy cream, a half a cup of water, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay, and I'll be back as soon as these mushrooms are ready. Okay, I'm back. And the mushrooms are ready. They have released their juices. So now I'm just going to add in my half a cup of milk and half a cup of cream, heavy whipping cream, and a half a cup of water. We're going to give that a little stir. And then I'm going to add in my teaspoon of my teaspoon of garlic powder and just a hint of cayenne pepper. I'm not using as much as the recipe called for because I can't tolerate a lot of heat. So I'm just using a pinch of cayenne pepper and then Okay, and I just let this simmer for a few minutes. Okay, and I'll be back in a minute. I'm back. And this is the consistency that I wanted right now. So I'm going to turn off the saute function. And I am going to uh, put my chicken in. And I'll be back. Okay, and I'm back. I've got the two chicken breasts um, down in the liquid now. I kind of push the mushrooms to the side. It doesn't matter if they're sitting on a couple of mushrooms. You just want them on the bottom of the pot and submerged in liquid. Okay, now I just need to 
put my lid on. Sorry about my hand. Put my lid on and then what am I doing? I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, it took me a few minutes to figure it out. <clears throat> the recipe said the recipe said to um, put it in manual mode. My power quick pot does not have manual mode, so what I do is I press the pressure button, I change the selection to poultry, I push the knob to confirm that I want to do poultry, then I can turn it to the left or to the right to, to decide what setting I want. I want it on high, but I only want it on high for on high for ah, use the knob okay I want it on high for six minutes okay and press the knob again to start it okay I will be back when it is all done and has released pressure. Okay, I'm back. Um, the pressure cooker has finished cooking and turned to the keep warm. I have released all the pressure. Now I'm going to open the pot. Always open the pot away from you, away from your face. You don't want any steam burns. Set this to the side, and now the recipe says to remove the chicken from the pot onto a plate. So I'm going to do that. And then the rest of this is going to become our gravy. Step is to remove about a quarter cup of liquid. We're going to be making a roux. So we have about a quarter cup of liquid out of the pot. And to that, we're going to be whisking in a tablespoon, a little bit at a time. Okay, sorry about that. Um, the chicken is done. I have removed it from the pot to a plate and taken out about a quarter cup of liquid and I'm going to whisk that together with a tablespoon of um, cornstarch. I just put the cornstarch in a little bit at a time so it doesn't get lumpy. I don't like lumps in my gravy. Okay, so just keep adding that in until you get all the cornstarch mixed in. Okay. And then we're going to turn on the saute function. First we're going to turn off the keep warm. Turn off the keep warm. Set that down. We're going to turn off the keep warm and we're going to turn on the saute. We're going to move that over to 
poultry and confirm and set the dial and confirm. Okay. Now I've got all of the cornstarch thoroughly combined in the liquid. Set that to the side. And I'm going to add this into the liquid in the pot. Okay. We're just going to simmer this for a few minutes. So we want our gravy to thicken up a little bit. And then <clears throat> I have a, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese here, grated Parmesan cheese that I will be putting into this. There it comes to a boil. Okay. And that's already starting to thicken up. a little bit more time to thicken up a little. Mmm, it smells so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Too bad there isn't smell-o-vision. Okay, I'm going to add in my Parmesan cheese now. Whoa, I almost dropped the camera into the pot. That would not have been good. We don't want um, <laughs> chicken and savory mushroom camera phone gravy. Okay, that gravy is thickening up nicely, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to turn that off. And... I'm going to get this plated up, and I'll be back. Okay, this is my finished plate. Doesn't that look yummy? I'll tell you what, it smells so good. So this is chicken with criminy mushrooms and a savory sauce over a bed of rice. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. I'll be posting probably um, every day if I can. Okay, thank you very much. Have a great day. Brightest blessings. Bye. Okay. Gravy, some rice. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, this is my dish.
it is chicken with criminy mushrooms and a savory gravy. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to go eat because this is really yummy and I am really hungry. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Have a blessed day. Bye.